Hello friends, welcome to Tamu Education. If not yet subscribed, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this module, we are going to discuss our fifth question. List five axioms, postulates used in this book. So we have written that Euclid's axiom. So here Euclid's axioms in geometry. So Euclid's axioms or postulates. So first one, what is that? Things which are equal to same things are equal to one another. So let's take this square or let's take this is the circle. Let's take one circle which is equal to the one more circle. Then what you can say here is let's take things which are equal to the same things. So these are equal. The things which are equal to the another same thing and this circle is also. So this is the center, center of the circle. We are taking this one. So here this circle is also equal to the same thing. That is the case. Our next one, if you if equals are added to equals, the sums are equal. So let's take 5 is equals to 5. Then 3 equal to 3. So if these two are equals, then if you're going to add left side 3, here also right side 3, then what you'll get? So sums also equal. So here the sums are equal, 8 is equal to 8. Let's take the e if equals are subtracted from equal, then the differences are also equal. So let's take 10 equal to 10 and 2 equal to 2. So let's going to subtract from 10 to 2, right side and left side, then what you'll get? Here also 8, 8. The subtracted also, the differences are also equal. Then, when a parallel, when a pair of parallel lines are intersected by transversal, the pair of corresponding angles are equal. So, let's take pair of parallel lines. So, here let's take these are uh, two parallel lines L and M. Then, what you can say here is transversal. Let's take this is the transversal T. Then, what they are telling here is pair of corresponding angles. So, let's take this is one angle and this is also another angle. So, these two angles are equal. These two are corresponding angles. The two are equal. Next one. There are passes infinitely many lines through a given point. So, let's take one point here. So, from this point, so many lines will going to passing like this. So, how many lines it will be? Infinite lines will going to pass. So, we cannot count it how many lines it can pass. So, for that, this one will be infinite lines will going to pass through the one single point. So like this we need to write the Euclid's axioms. In this book we are used Euclid's axioms. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and please try to share our videos to your friends. Thanks for watching.